Welcome to this demonstration of the ISMS framework in Marvim. Here we see the Marvim ISMS framework. First of all, we see the ISMS processes and the business processes. The different information components are divided in these W categories. In the Y category, we can find all the risks, causes, consequences, laws and regulations, and defined controls. When we take a deeper look at the laws and regulations, we see, for example, the ISO standards. In the WHERE category, we can find information like the organization and locations. In the WHO category, we see the employees, job roles, teams and external stakeholders. In the WITH WHAT category, we see definitions, documents, but also assets like the IT infrastructure and applications. When we open the information groups in the WITH WHAT category, we see all the available information groups. In this example, we'll go to the information group, customer clients, and create a new information group to give you an idea of how easy this is. We can see that a standard field set has been assigned to this topic. When we fill it in, we are directly sent to the correct group of information and only need to indicate which specific topic needs to be assigned. In this example, we'll connect an owner. We can also indicate what the CIA values are and indicate which risks could occur the likelihood and possible causes. Next, we can indicate which ISO regulations are connected. Eventually, you do this for all information groups, which gives you the possibility to create reports like the one shown here, where we see the information groups, CIA values, connected risks, owner, likelihood, impact and regulations, connected processes and applications. All these information components are clickable, so we can easily find more information on these topics. Now we will take a look at the publication side of the ISMS framework, where stakeholders can find information, give feedback and collaborate. Here we see the ISMS start page in the SharePoint portal. This can also be generated for your internet or Office 365 portal. From this start page, we can navigate to all important information, like the ISMS processes, business processes, assets and laws and regulations. In this example, we'll navigate to the information groups of the organization. The next chart shows us the various information groups. Let's take a look at the information group, information from customers, clients. On the right side, we can find all the relevant information like the owner, CIA values, connected risks and regulations. When we click on a topic, we'll find more information like this connected ISO measure. Because end users can give feedback on this information, you make sure information is up to date and make sure your organization can work on their continuous improvement cycle.